Good evening, Ravenglass. Allow me to first to apologize for this interruption. I do, like many of you, appreciate the comforts of the everyday routine and the security of the familiar, the tranquility of repetition. I enjoy them as much as any person, but in the spirit of commemoration, whereby those important events of the past, usually associated with someone's death or the end of some awful bloody struggle, are celebrated with a nice holiday, I thought we could mark this festival of Loki, a day that is sadly no longer remembered, by taking some time out of our daily lives to sit down and have a little chat. There are, of course, those who do not want us to speak, I suspect even now, orders are being shouted into acorns, and wardens with swords will soon be on their way. Why? Whilst the truncheon may be used in lieu of conversation, words will always retain their power. Words offer the means to meaning, and for those who will listen, the enunciation of truth. And the truth is, there is something terribly wrong with the wardens, isn't there? Cruelty and injustice, intolerance and oppression, and where you once had the freedom to object, to think and speak as you saw fit, you now have censors and systems of surveillance coercing your conformity, soliciting your submission. How did this happen? Who's to blame? Well, certainly there are those who are more responsible than others, and they will be held accountable. But again, truth be told, if you're looking for the guilty, you need only look into a mirror. I know why you did it. I know you were afraid. Who wouldn't be? The arrest of King Everett, the destruction of the burrows, the forest fire, the airship crash. There were a myriad of problems which conspired to corrupt your reason and rob you of your common sense. Fear got the best of you, and in your panic you turned to the wardens. They promised you order, they promised you peace, and all they demanded in return was your silent, obedient consent. Tonight I seek to end that silence. Tonight, together, we will remind Ravenglass what it has lost and what it has forgotten. More than 800 years ago, a great citizen wished to embed the 15th of Cheapness forever in our memory. His hope was to remind the world that fairness, justice and freedom are more than words. They are perspectives. So if you've seen nothing, if the crimes of the Wardens remain unknown to you, and I'd suggest you allow the 15th of Chief Mess to pass unmarked. But if you see what I see, if you feel as I feel, and if you would speak as seek as I seek, then I ask you to stand beside me on Loki's night, one day from now, outside the gates of the Warden Embassy, and together we shall give them a 15th of Chief Mess that shall never, ever be forgot.